we all said, yep. okay, standout yep. moment there. Asa Gonzalez in her yellow Ralph Lauren gown yep. became a fashion moment at the Oscars, setting the red carpet and social media on fire. Everybody's saying, who is that girl? We're still saying it. She stars now with Steve Carell in the new film, Welcome, welcome to Marwin. And welcome, Asa. Good to see you. Thank you. I look so nervous in that video. I'm just like, what did I do? You saw nerves? I was yeah. so nervous. We we saw you on the carpet, and Kate and I looked at each other and we were like, what, what? is going uh, on? Who's no. that girl? Stop her. Guys, you're so sweet. I was really, really nervous. I mean, it's never like a dull moment where you're like, yeah, I'm just going to walk up into the red carpet in the Oscars. It's, but that's, oh. a, that's a moment that people immediately like mm -hmm. stop and notice. What was the reaction that you saw, and when did you know, oh, they know who I yeah. am? It was more like as soon as I walked, so there's like a security thing that you go through before going into the red carpet. And, you know, you see all the stars. And it's always, I mean, no matter how much you work, you always get starstruck because yeah. it's all these people that you, you either grew up look, looking up to or admiring or have done something incredible that year that impressed you. And so as soon as I walked in, everyone was like, whoa. And I knew at that moment we hadn't made a good decision with the dress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just feel like... Whether you, if it's going to be the first time you're going to go to the Oscars, go big or go home. Yeah. So Absolutely. when you were doing all the dresses, trying everything on, was that the first one you put on, or when no. you put it on, where you're like, okay, it's go time? Well, yeah. did someone have to sell you on the yellow? Because that is no. like a no joke. Not your common color. No, oh, yeah. yeah no. Look at her. She I actually had to dress. sell everyone into it because, to me, it's it, always dressing up for the Oscars is sort of like. If you're not a nominee, you want to tame it down, but you also want to look like a standout. And you also want to make, I wanted to make uh, an impression of who I am. You know, I'm very full of energy and mm -hmm. crazy and fun and very Latin. And I sort of felt like that was a simple dress, but the color really brought it up. And it, it was it was sort of uh, suiting for me because you know that you're going to stand out and there's something that gives you insecurity about mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. And it's therapeutical because yeah. it was like, you've got to embrace it. This is part of what this is. You're going to stand out into the biggest stage of the world and you have to sort of deal with the anxiety of it all. So it was sort of something for me. Yeah. Nailed it. Yeah. Nailed it. Well, let's <laughs> I'm talk glad about that you guys liked yes. it. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, you were the one we were all talking about the next morning. Oh, so yeah. that That's was we were like. Sweet. Yellow dress. Yellow dress. How many dresses dress did you try on? Asa. I tried so many dresses. I had my last fitting on the day of the Oscars because it's what? just hard. You don't know what you want to wear. And it's yeah. like everyone's having an opinion. And I sort of had to like quiet everything down and be like, this is it. And we're just going to go for it. And did I Ralph think, Lauren, though, did they say we have a dress for you? Is that yeah, they, they said, contacted you? Yeah, they sent us like a bunch of dresses. And a lot of brands were so nice. And like they gave us like the star dress, they, it, it always happens. And it's hard because you kind of love them all. And mm -hmm. it's the dream. I never thought I would be even wearing all these designers. And I was just like excited, but yeah. it worked out great. And I, I'm, I'm really happy. I had a blast that night. It did was super it? fun. Did you keep the dress? Uh, no, of course not. I just wonder. You I know, can't that. afford it. That <laughs> should be a I was going to say, closet. they should donate that to uh, you. It's good, though. It, it's, it will probably remain in history for them, and it's nice. You know? oh, yeah. Let's talk about your trajectory, because you're an, you were a Mexican actress first, discovered there, mm -hmm. and then now you're everywhere. Welcome to Marwin is a huge film for you this Christmas, December 21st. Yeah. It opens working with Steve Carell. Yeah, it was a dream. I mean, I did start back in the day when I was 13 in Mexico City, started in the soap operas and sort of made my way up. And I, I really didn't even have a like clear plan. I was just passionate and I loved it. And I really got into acting. And that's, you know, I'll, I'll get in, into it a little bit more when I talk about Marwen. But I got into it because I was like really bullied when I was growing up. And then I also was like inadequate. And sort of like I felt very safe being an actress. I felt like I could be anything else mm. and sort of feel comfortable being that. And then yeah. I kind of got into the acting because I was do, dealing with a lot of trauma after my dad had just passed away. So like it really just life took me into acting. And uh, that really intertwines with me doing Welcome to Marwen because it really just... It's a story that for me means so much more than just, you know, a film. It's a message that I always wanted to share with people that we all in a sort of way feel inadequate and mm -hmm. it's okay to feel that way and it's okay to be different and have different appeal to different things and it's sort of that what makes you different makes you special. Yeah. And but for you, I'm thinking for what you said, why were you bullied when you were young? Well, it's the funniest thing, you know, when you see it, like I've heard... A, 
with interviews where I saw beautiful women that they're like, I was bullied for being beautiful and tall and lean, and I was bullied for being weird and being into different things. And it's just, we always sort of, that age is really hard for yes. children. And yeah. I always have and want to be mindful as possible with people for the same reason, because as a person, a public person, I like to be part of projects that could really create conscious around that because I was once that kid mm. and I want to avoid in a way yeah of people to go through that emotion and just feel like it's okay to be broken it's okay to be different you know we all are That's yeah, the best yeah. Part. That's what makes yes. you good all right well coming up we're going to talk more about this movie yes. for you uh, welcome to Marwin which is incredible it's a true story and as yeah. you said it speaks so much to the human experience um, and then we're going to play a little game with you if you oh, could yeah. kiss anyone under the mistletoe. Who oh, might it be? Who oh. might it be? Our best, there's Scott right here. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm I'm Our best blanket game ever is after these messages from your local station. <laughs> oh, let me see it. Let me see it. You want that? I created a world where I can be anyone I want. These are the women of Marwin. Are all of the dolls people you know? Yeah, there's Carlala. You can't keep on running away. Julie. We got your pick. Roberta. And Nicole. I just moved in across the street. This is Hoagie. Kind of a braver version of me. I got beaten with What an, an incredible. Inch of my life. Wow. I'm just looking at the motion capture. Back on Access Live with Asa Gonzalez. She stars along with Steve Carell in the upcoming Welcome to Marwin. This is a true story. I did not know this whole story, but the backstory is I guess Mark, Mark Hogan Camp was violently, violently beaten, yeah. nearly to death. Mm -hmm and then came out and created this whole doll village as we saw. Tell us more. Yeah, his story is very inspiring for me. He was just in his own way different, you know, and you will discover it when you watch the film, mm -hmm. but he's, you know, his own persona is and it's his own things. And people sometimes, you know, are judgmental about what you like. Mm -hmm. And he sadly got beaten up to death at almost 40 and had to rehabilitate himself and go through his own therapy to find out who he was again. And the way that he did it was relating the dolls to people. And throughout the movie, you'll watch what the story unravels in and how it sort of like embraces it. You know, it also embraces the Adelita's outfits. As you can tell, the Barbie doll is very Mexican, which made me so happy. I love her. Because I feel so proud of my beautiful culture, the colors, the style, the hair, the, 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 the hoops. The it earrings. Was, it was on. everything, hoops. right? Come it was on. the Barbie Mexican Barbie doll dream. And so it was a perfect perfect movie for me because it sold a message of hope of inspiration but at the same time embracing different cultures different women Love different that. looks i got to work with an all women cast and steve carell and bob zemeckis yeah. i was just like pinching myself every day well, speaking well, now, of perfect movies dwayne, for you dwayne johnson yeah, what about and this Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> yeah i mean i just got back from london yesterday so mind me i'm a little <laughs> bit dead lag guys so if i don't nail that game be nice to me <laughs> but it's been great i mean i just walked into that set and dwayne immediately was just like, can you give me all these workout tips? And I was like, listen, maybe later. Like, right now Wait, I'm working. Wait, you want workout tips from you? <laughs> yeah, I was like, Dwayne, like, right Dwayne, not now. Not okay. now. Mama's just working. Like, right. We're I... making a film. Hello. <laughs> right. Can you get out of my face? <laughs> no, but he was amazing. Everyone was so sweet. I got to work with David Leach, who is an incredible director. I watched him doing, you know, um, that movie with Charlize Theron, which is incredible. Yes. And then he had done Deadpool, and I love his tone of film. So... I got to work with all of these incredible casts, and I can't wait for you guys to see the character. Is there a career you want to emulate? Like growing up, was there somebody you've been watching or that you like? Of course. I mean, I respect women that embrace going into a hard industry like this. Mm -hmm. I always find it really fascinating in general that people have the the heart to keep on going because it's a you know people don't know the behind the scenes, but it's a hard career in a sense. You get a lot of no's. Yeah. So yeah. any woman that is a like able to stand up, rebuild herself, and go for it again. To me, it's ins as completely inspiring. Isn't that your that's Instagram? That's your Instagram, yeah. yeah you I say. do believe so on that, you know, after going through so much myself. You say there's nothing stronger than a broken woman who has rebuilt herself. Yeah. yeah. Have you had to rebuild yourself? Oh, my God, a billion times. I mean, after losing a father very, very young and then going into the industry very young and sort of finding who you are as you're growing up, trying to be a role model, but do a good job, be the best as you can. It's a lot of pressure and yeah. sort of sometimes you're going to cave and you've yeah. got to pick up yourself, 
dust it off and keep on going. And that's how my life motto is. And I see a lot of women doing that. You guys, not everybody. Me. You're not a woman, but you do it too. But like every I get day. It. But no, like I understand. And I respect yeah. that. So I, I look up to a lot of people, and I'm just grateful that I'm alive. I get to work and do these yeah. sorts of films. And you had, um, you also write about on your Instagram. You're very open about, you know, your battles with yeah. all the things that you've been through, but also compulsive eating disorder. Yeah. So how did you get through that time in your life? Well, honestly, good family. I had such an incredible supportive mother. I mean, from day one, she's been here. She's been with me right now that I've been traveling. I came back from Hawaii. I'm hit, shooting two movies at the same time, and mm -hmm. she's there Hi, for gorgeous, me. Hi, gorgeous mom. Hi, yes. mama. She's a beauty. And it's been good, you know. It, and the thing is, to me, it's... We all cave. We all have insecurities. Yeah. Even if you see us right now here, we all go to our houses and we're a normal person. And if you gain weight or lose weight, and growing up as a girl, you know, I had a big depression over losing my father and I was eating compulsively and then got thrown into the f industry and I had never en encountered that before. And so I went through a lot. Did you gain a lot of weight when yeah, you were going through so all this? Much, yeah, so much. So much. And then they also... wanted you to lose it when you got well, into the business? Funny enough, I was lucky that I worked with people that weren't pressuring me and let me be who I was. But hmm. you know, you're a teenager, you're trying to like, you want to be cute, yeah. you want to yeah. fit yeah. in. It's hard. Pressure and I always yourself. say that social media nowadays, yeah. I have so much compassion and I always try to say to girls, it's okay to be who you are. Don't try to follow whatever you see me doing. I'm almost a 30 year old woman. If you're 16 and you're doing your thing, do your thing. You got to be yourself and not put pressure on yourself. And I love that you post in both Spanish and English. Yeah. Uh, let's get to our For my Mexico. Mexico. Oh, I love that. You've got, you've got the yeah. mistletoe. Okay, wait, okay. Oh, wait, what? Speed round. Oh, it's happening. Speed, Speed round. round. It's happening. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Here we go. Oh, oh, Lord. Best blanking game ever. Here we go. A funny nickname you've been given is? My mom calls me Pelona, which means bald girl, because they shaved my head when I was younger, so my hair would grow better, and they would glue <laughs> a little bow to my head with toothpaste. <laughs> it's amazing. So now that's state. I'm Pelona. We need it works. We need I'm visual. Okay. Pull your hair, hair is beautiful. Yes, I will. Okay, your teen celebrity crush is, or was? It was definitely one of the Backstreet Boys, and it would, like, go around throughout the time, because oh. it's like you start growing up, and definitely NSYNC as well. All of them. I, I was at a Christmas them. party and met one of the Backstreet Boys' wives, I think Kevin, so I can introduce you. No, uh, don't! Uh, don't! Uh, you respect <laughs> relationships, guys. She's well, married. Maybe, maybe no, out of relationships, if there was someone you could kiss under the mistletoe, any person, who would it be? Uh, I'll probably a give a kiss to Pasita, my little blind little dog. <laughs> oh, do we That's have a good probably one, do that, guys. Pasita just lost an eye, Yeah, right? she just lost an eye, my old lady, but she's Aww. doing great. Aww. Yeah, it's my baby. Oh, wait, girl. and now I want a little cone on her head. I love yes. when they have those cones. You know, she don't love it. <laughs> she, they don't love it. Trust they me. Do not. Oh, I love she, it. she, she, she did well with that uh, surgery, and she's a rescue dog. So I encounter like, pre please, please, please adopt. It's very important. Okay. One last one. People would be surprised to know you're very good at. Oh my God. Nothing, you guys. Oh. Ah. You're people good at drinking tequila. I'm good at drinking tequila. Yeah. Tara, people would be surprised that I don't know how to cook for my uh, life. I don't, don't like. I can't even do a sandwich. Don't marry me. <laughs> Never don't marry me. That. Uh, don't marry me. I we can't even do a sandwich. And, and drinking Nothing. Jimmy under the table. Jimmy Kimmel under yeah. the table oh. with the tequila. Oh yeah. Right. You Every can do time it. he made me drink out of uh, Guillermo made me drink out of a shoe Cheryl. at the Oscars, <laughs> and he's like, just drink it. I thought it was a joke. I didn't think just there was going to be tequila, and I shot it. I was like, oh, I gotta present an Oscar now, I guess. I hope I don't fall off the stage. <laughs> well, you made an impression for it sure. Did. Congratulations on Thank everything. You. More and uh, so welcome sweet. tomorrow in Hit Theaters Friday.